This video is going to detail how to use the loft tool to create this object here, which is essentially a large hook. Now to create this object, there is a little bit of complexity here. There is the center line, and there are several uh, work planes that we need to create, and we need to do these slot type uh, sketches on those work planes. And then lastly, it finishes out with just a point, uh, and, that's, and that will be the point of the... Um, hook. So the first thing I like to do is draw the center line because that is where I'm going to uh, put points and create these work planes. It would be much easier than trying to do the work planes first. So let's go ahead and create our object. I'm going to do it on this back plane here and I'm just going to worry about the geometry. So it looks like I have a straight line, an arc, a large arc, and a small arc. Seems simple enough. And instead of using the center point in my drawing, I'm going to put it um, in, right in the middle of the hook. I feel like that's going to be the best place for it. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to start with the large arc. And there's going to be a small arc here. Small arc going up and then a line. And I'm not worried about getting them perfect whatsoever because I'm going to come back in here and tangent everything. Okay, and now I'm going to kind of play with it and get it right. So center point and center point of this arc are on the same uh, space essentially. And then, oh, oh, come back to me. When these things are not strain they kind of go wild on you so this looks like a perfect um, three-quarter where this line is going to be horizontal here horizontal to the center point and this is and this point would be vertical as well and then I have some dimensions I need to put in I pull this guy back a little bit. Now this also looks like a perfect 90, so I'm going to put that in there. And now let's go ahead and enter our dimensions. So this looks like a 1.5. Uh, the size of this big guy is 3 inches. So now just a little. Almost lost my uh, arc there. Looks like my little one disappeared. I'm not sure where it went. So I'm going to step back and dimension that one first. So this is a 1.5. And I can come back to this and make it 3. All right. Over the, my center line here. Not center line, but my vertical line coming out of the top. Uh, so we have a dimension from here to here was it of eight inches all right that looks pretty good dimensions wise now i do need to put some points in here or i find that to be the easiest way um, as far as where my work planes are going to go this one is horizontal so it picks it up real easy this one is vertical it's going to pick that up easy this one as well but I have another one in here which doesn't really lend itself. And that's why I see some construction lines in there that I'm going to replicate. Now I have a dimension here between these two. And it says that's 45 degrees. And all of a sudden it becomes fully constrained and that's exactly what I want. Alright, so now that I have this center line sketch, I can go ahead and start creating... Um, the work planes. I like to use tangent along path. Um, I, I think I can use that for each of these actually. Tangent chain. Oh, that looks perfect. Went right on my point. And I can just keep doing that all the way around, plane on path. All right, as you can see, it pretty much picks up exactly where it's supposed to be.